organisations are asking us to help them release their creative potential and have been for many years now um, so that they can actually develop a much deeper capacity to innovate in a sustainable way to accelerate the way in which they shape the future, shape the market. Um, how to break through some of their own orthodoxies and preconceptions um, and how to start working with partners and clients and customers in new ways um, that start to create things that are magical, creative, innovative. Um, where, this, where innovation becomes the way we do things around here rather than a surprise or an accident every so often or a strategic priority. Um, so one of the things we've been focusing on and learning about is how do you actually create a cultural context, a leadership context in which um, creativity, ways of working, riding the highs and lows of the creative process become the way we do things around here. Which means you have to continually keep shaping and adapting and developing new ways of working constantly so you never get stuck. To help an organisation unlock its creative potential isn't a behavioural intervention. It isn't a reorganisation intervention. It's about how you help an organisational pattern, its cultural pattern, move predominantly at the moment from a achiever, high performance, very individualistic culture to one which can ride the highs and lows of a creative process that can um, create the container where people can step into the unknown where people can truly get present with one another and see each other's talents and gifts and ideas in new ways. Where people can start to work with some of the more intangible and invisible aspects of organisational life um, so that they can start to find unique, novel, powerful ways forward that often most people have never seen before. The, the way in which we've been experimenting with unlocking the creative potential of organisations and helping it move to this different type of frequency of how it works and thinks and lives and learns is, is about how to put in two things. What are the kind of high level frameworks that help give it purpose, meaning, power and energy into an organisation? And what are the moment-to-moment -moment micro skills, ways of working that deepen quality of contact, trust, relationship, that leverage diversity, that bring people together in new and creative ways? And how all of the above uh, is held by leaders in a way that people can work with creative tension, people can disagree with each other, they can, they can push each other to the limit, they can step into the unknown without worry about ego or status and start to find new ways of thinking and working together that are elegant, that have a beauty to them and that often have a natural movement. I think the implications for leaders uh, is a fantastic threshold at the moment where leaders have often gone through so much training and development around managing people, um, processes, structures, value chains. And I think these are all critically important to run and drive the day-to-day -day business. But for an organisation, for a leader to help an organisation take the next step to become a true shaper requires a different set of subtle skills. And in today's world, a number of really exciting things are coming together. Um, so how do you actually unlock the creative potential of an individual community? How do you help people come to work and leverage their diversity and their different talents in unique combinations? How do you pay attention to the health and well-being, the fitness of an organisation to be able to step into the unknown, which requires a certain type of courage and energy that most people aren't used to? Um, how you start to design journeys for your people, for your customers, for these complex ecosystems to create things they never thought were possible. And this requires a type of leader that can work with subtle skills, that can step forward and create spaces for people to do things they never thought were possible, where people can hold up their belief systems and assumptions and generously inquire and listen to each other and find new patterns, new orders, new pathways.